The first time I made this recipe, it got a lot of attention on Instagram and Twitter, and I felt like it was only fair that I share it with you here on YouTube as well. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious barbecue chicken garlic bread pizza. Meet me in the kitchen, let's make it happen. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our chicken marinade. Super simple recipe for that. You're gonna start with about a quarter cup of good quality olive oil. We're gonna get that in the mixing bowl first. And then we're gonna add a good tablespoon or so of garlic. You can use fresh if you want to. You guys know I like my gourmet garden. Shout out to them, even though they don't cut me a check. One day you will, maybe. We're gonna hit that with some AP seasoning or just salt and pepper, a little garlic powder, onion powder, whatever kind of seasoning you like on your chicken. I'm gonna add my lemon bay, which is great on poultry and seafood. In replace of this, if you don't have it in your pantry, you can use something like Tony's or lemon pepper seasoning or even Old Bay. We're gonna get that in there. And then last but not least, to beef up the chicken flavor, we're going in with a pinch of chicken bouillon powder. It's gonna add a little MSG to the party, make things taste great, and it just goes well with chicken, obviously. So we're gonna give that a good mix, break out the whisk, mix that to combine. Then we're gonna get our chicken breast, thinly sliced chicken breast. You can find that at pretty much any grocery store these days. Or you can slice it yourself if you want to. We're gonna get that in the marinade, get it nice and coated, put that in the fridge for about 30 minutes. All right, so for the garlic bread component of this recipe, we're keeping it real simple because there's a lot of other ingredients that's gonna go on top of this garlic bread pizza. So we have a whole stick of melted butter here. We're gonna dice up about a quarter cup of parsley. And then we're gonna add some garlic and some seasoning. Real simple, guys. We don't wanna take away from the pizza. We wanna to add to it. And what's better with pizza than garlic bread, right? So kind of similar concept to when you order a pizza and you got the garlic butter on the crust, except we're making the whole pizza out of the garlic bread. It's delicious, not necessarily diet approved, but the kids will love it. It's fun to make and it comes together nice and quick. So good weeknight option for you. Just a fine dice on the parsley. We'll save some for garnish. Add about half of this to our butter mixture. Then add in our garlic. Roasted garlic's a great option if you're like me and keep it in the fridge. Unfortunately, we're fresh out, so again, we're going with the garlic paste. I would use the garlic paste or roasted garlic for this recipe. I don't really tend to use fresh garlic as much because it's gonna go in the oven twice and I don't want it to burn. Garlic can kind of get a little bit bitter when, once it kind of burns up and we don't want to deal with that. So garlic paste going in, parsley, good quality butter. We're using Kerrygold butter, which is a grass fed butter. Excellent option. A little bit on the expensive side. So when it's on sale, stock up on it. And then just a little bit of seasoning. Real simple. When you're making a barbecue chicken pizza, you can't make one without a red onion. Today, we're gonna go ahead and dice up a red onion for the recipe. We're also gonna add a little bacon to the party, which I did not do on Instagram and Twitter, so you guys are getting that little special uh, recipe today. We're adding the bacon. Sorry to the pork patrol in advance, but it needed bacon, guys. I mean, what do you want me to do? It is what it is. Bacon makes everything a little better. Maybe not your cholesterol, but everything else, it works. So we're just gonna do a fine dice on the red onion. Probably only need half of a red onion for this, so save the rest for pickled onions for tacos. You can, uh, you can throw it in your salad. Plenty of things to do with a red onion. Simple dice here. I'm gonna save that parsley over to my right for garnish, maybe even a little chive if I'm feeling like it. Next up is the cheese. For this recipe, we're using mozzarella cheese. Very traditional when it comes to pizza. If you have uh, another cheese that you wanna use, feel free to do that. But mozzarella, you can't go wrong. We're gonna grate it on the medium side of the grater, not the fine side or the wide side. This melts nicely, especially for something like a French bread pizza like we're doing today. We're gonna need about eight to 10 ounces of this, depending on how much cheese you want. That's totally up to you. But we're gonna grate about eight ounces. Everybody needs a snack from time to time. Now I like to grate my own cheese because it has less of the anti-caking agents or none of the anti-caking agents that 
you get when you buy the prepackaged stuff. They usually use something like potato starch or corn starch to keep it from clumping up in the bag. That also prevents it from melting nicely. And uh, we're looking for a nice melty cheese pull on our pizza today. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and fry the bacon until it's crispy. You don't wanna overcook it. We're gonna let it finish off and, and drain off on the paper towel. Once it's cool enough to touch, we're gonna cut it down into bite-sized pieces, sprinkle that on top of the pizza. Can go wrong. Now, if you don't wanna add the bacon, no big deal. But for the rest of us, a little bacon on the barbecue chicken pizza, it's a thing of beauty. Thick cut bacon is best. But use whatever you got in the fridge. You don't need to run to the grocery store for thick cut bacon. If you got some perfectly good bacon in there that needs to be cooked. So for this recipe, you want a nice loaf of French bread. So we're gonna go ahead and grab a serrated knife. That's the best to cut bread, also known as a bread knife. And then we're just gonna cut it right in half. Protect your fingers at all times. You wanna leave the kitchen with as many fingers as you came into the kitchen with. And we're just gonna cut it right in half like so. All right, so we're laying it on thick, guys. There's no need to make a garlic bread if you're not gonna treat it nicely and be generous with that delicious garlic butter that we made. So edge to edge, we're gonna spread it on there, get it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes until the bread starts to get nice and toasted but not fully cooked, at which point we'll bring it out of the oven and then make our pizza. Now, my friends, it's time to cook some chicken breasts. We're gonna heat our skillet over medium-high heat if you need a good skillet, I have one for sale. It's on sale right now. Link in the description box below. Hybrid skillet, oven safe, induction cooktop. All that good stuff comes with the lid. Can't beat it. Get the oil nice and hot, and then we're gonna add our chicken breast right on in there. We're gonna cook this until the chicken breast hits 165 degrees internal temperature. Make sure we get all that marinade. And we're gonna chop it up and add it to our pizza. We're looking to develop some nice color on one side. Or you can flip it a couple times, get even color. Move it around the skillet if you need to. Let's cook it until it's done. 165 internal, safe to eat for your chicken breast. Got some juicy chicken here. We'll go ahead and chop that down into bite-sized pieces as well. All right, so right before we add our pizza ingredients to the garlic bread, we're gonna go ahead and struggle to open the top. In all fairness, the, the pizza, I mean, the, the bacon is uh, greasy. I can't get it. Nope, oh, got it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and heat up the barbecue sauce. About a cup and a half of that. Just get a little heat on there. I'm gonna add that to the French bread and then get that in the oven with our pizza ingredients. And now my friends, the time has finally come to go ahead and assemble our pizza. We got our freshly shredded mozzarella cheese. We're not gonna be shy with that. Right on top of the barbecue sauce. Barbecue chicken pizza, in my opinion, is one of the more slept on common pizzas out there. Kind of gets a bad rap. People don't order it that much, but I've never had one that I didn't like. But it's just not the first thing you think about when you go to order a pizza. What I like about these garlic bread pizzas is you get all the crunch from the crust of the bread that sometimes is lacking when you order a pizza, particularly from like a delivery place. And then you get the garlic bread flavor. And then the bread's still nice and soft on the interior, which is nice. A little red onion for the razzle dazzle. And that's going into the oven. Once it's done and out of the oven, we're gonna hit with a little bit more barbecue sauce because why the hell not? We're here for a good time, not a long time. This is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys. Looking good. Now, for my favorite part of the job, the taste test. Look at that. Mm. Need some alone time with this one. When I first made this recipe, fuck. That ain't making it better. <laughs> we 
you're making a barbecue chicken pizza, one of the most common ingredients is a nice red tomato. When you're making, when you're making a barbecue chicken pizza, one of the most common agree.